Hi, in this video, I'm going to discuss about V and D corrections. So let me write here about V and D corrections. Well, V correction is used for GHA, for computation of GHA, which is hourly Greenwich hour angle, and D correction is used for declination. Now, we'll discuss a little bit about Greenwich hour angle and rate of change of hour angle. So, let's talk about uh, uh, the Earth. Earth rotates west to east in the sky. Okay, if we see from North Pole, this is North Pole and this is South Pole. So, uh, first point of Aries will appear to be moving in opposite direction. Well, the path traced will be at the equinoctial. Equinoctial is the projection of the equator. And it takes 23 hours, 56 minutes and 4.1 mean solar time. It means this is the true rotational period of Earth. So the first point of Aries will appear to be rotating with this speed. So we can easily find the rate and the rate is 15 degree 02.46 that is hourly rate so we can easily find the increment and for that increment we can have this increment is equal to 15 degree 02.46 minute into increment in time and we take minutes and decimal divided by 60 so now let's have a look here Suppose the GMT is 16 day, 0, 1 minute, sorry, 1 hour, 30 minute and 15 second. That is for the month of Jan, say for example. Now, if you look at the almanac, you will see here, this is the January almanac, 16 Jan, and this is Aries. Well, 16 and 0, 1, we have this value, which is 129. 51.5 now we look for the end uh, increment well we can compute the increment uh, with this formula which says 15 degrees 02.46 into uh, time into decimal well we have this time I think okay uh, little bit I need to scroll it up the time here is uh, 30 minute and 15 second which if we convert into decimal it becomes 30.25 divided by 60 then we get 7 degree 34 minute 59.42 second or round off is 7 degree 35 minute the second solution is i can have a look here in the increment table so if we come to the increment table here let me come to the increment table, go to the 30 minute page and 15 seconds, say here. And uh, there are three uh, table, one is sun and planet, another one is Aries and third one is moon. So I look for the Aries and I find 7 degree 35 minute. That's what exactly we calculated. Now, if you look carefully, there is no V correction for Aries because the GHA, that is Greenwich hour angle, never differs than the assumed value of 15 degree 02.46. So here, if we come here, we see here, if we take out the difference 02 and 03 from the Aries, okay, just a minute. I made the wrong assumption. Yeah, this is the Aries, say 04 and 05, we get the same assumed rate. So there is no V correction. Now, let's move on to the this table. So increment tables are provided at the end of Almanac based on the following assumption. For Aries, the value is 15 degrees 02.46, but for planets, the value is 15 degree. And for moon, this is slightly less, which is 14 degree and 19 minute. I will tell the reason why it is taken slightly less. Well, of course, just now we studied that the rotation of Aries depend on the rotation of the Earth in one solar hour. 
now let's obtain the increment of sun increment of sun can be obtained from the following calculation so let me just find out all right wait a minute the increment of sun can be obtained that increment is equal to 15 degree into uh, time you have to take minutes and decimal divided by 60. so let's have this example suppose there is a gmt i think i just let me shift here a little bit okay and for 16 day and 0 1 hour we'll take this value and uh, increment 30 minute 15 second we take this value 7 degree 33.8 and then we add together we find the uh, GHA. Well, GHA as the earth is rotating west to east, apparent motion is from east to west and GHA is measured in a westerly direction. So GHA continuously keep increasing. Now the increment here, the value is 7 degree 33 minute and 45 second, which uh, here we take 7 degree 33.8. I think, uh, let me just show it here. Okay. Uh, what value you have taken 16 days 0 1 hour 16th day 0 1 hour ghf sun is 192 38.3 so 192 38.3 now in the table for 30 minute and 15 second come here the table 30 minute and 15 second let's come here and look at the column of sun and planet we find 7 degree 33.8 we can take from the increment table or we can also find from the formula it will not make much difference now v is not tabulated for sun as the rate of gha is nearly equal to assumed value of 15 degree any small difference is made up in the next tabulated hour value of sun's greenwich hour angle now let's talk about planets and moon well there is additional correction to the increment and that additional correction is called v correction this is called v correction the increment table for planets are merely based on rate of change of our angle as 15 degree the v correction allows for the fact that planets change their angles at slightly variable rates so we can say the v correction is hourly increase in the gha in excess of the assumed value so here or uh, in almanac there are four planets venus mars jupiter and saturn their v correction is given here v minus 0 0.8 for mars it is positive and jupiter is also positive and saturn is also positive well the venus can have positive and negative and i will discuss this later on first the v correction for jupiter saturn and mars is always greater than 15 degree so we can find 15 degree plus v if we express in degrees into increment in minutes and decimal divided by 60 well that can be a little complicated so uh, now let's talk about venus the v correction for venus is sometimes negative and sometimes positive so venus being closer to the earth will have apparent motion to be more rapid than other planets the venus changes our angle sometimes greater and sometimes lesser than 15 degree you may be wondering why let's have a look at the solar system so this is earth this is venus venus is one of the closest planet here so uh, the motion is pretty apparent and uh, due to the uh, elliptical orbit sometime venus is faster sometime venus is closer so apparent motion is varying than 15 degree now we'll talk about moon moon is further closer than venus but why the v correction is never negative because the assumed rate is not 15 degree rather we have taken the value as 14 degree 19 minute so that the actual hourly angle is always positive so you can either find out from the formula which says 14 degree 19 minute plus v express and degrees plus increment in minutes and decimals divided by 60 or you can take from the almanac so here they it is tabulated for hourly basis 
Why? Because moon is pretty closer. The moon is stabilized hourly because rate of change of GHA varies from hour to hour. The uh, moon is very closer to earth and its orbit is very very elliptical. Uh, the rate of change of our angle is very fast. Now let's talk about declination. For stars there is only one value for declination given for each three day page in daily pages. No correction is needed and is taken as constant for three days. Why? Because the stars are very far. Even near as a star, Proxima century is 4.3 light years. Light year is the distance traveled by light in a year. So you can imagine how far uh, the stars are there from the Earth. So apparent motion of stars across the sky is very, very slow. Now, let's talk about Aries. Uh, Aries is the, the first point of Aries is the intersection of equinoctial and ecliptic. Well, uh, Aries is always at the equinoctial, so there is no declination. That's why there no declination is given for the Aries. Now, for Sun, Moon and planets, the declination is given for each hour. To aid this process, a value of D is given. Well, D is the hourly change in the declination of a celestial body. Inspection of Almanac around that time will tell you whether the value is increasing or decreasing and accordingly it is added or subtracted. Say for example here this is the GHA, this is declination and this is on given on hourly basis. So it will give you the, uh, it will inform you whether it is increasing or decreasing. Basically D is the mean value of hourly change of declination for three days. Now D for the moon is stabilized on hourly basis. Well, makes sense because there is a rapid change of declination. The position of the moon in the sky keep changing very rapidly. So D is interpolated for the minutes in exactly the same way as V correction. Sign for V correction must be seen from the hourly entry. So we have to see here, this is 1900 declination is 27 degree 3.7 and D is 4.6. Now uh, uh, 01 is 27 degree 08.3 and uh, D correction is 4.4. That means this is decreasing. That's all. Well, uh, Actual V or D correction for any duration of minutes and second uh, is given in the increment and correction table and we pick up these values from the increment and correction tables. That's all.